All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. So apparently last night was daylight savings time, so we're we're ahead one hour. Um, because I actually woke up early, right, eight forty a.m. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Because I usually want to try to start my videos around nine forty a.m. <coughs> So, yeah, hopefully I didn't catch coronavirus when I went to the fucking uh, grocery store to get some strawberries and spinach yesterday. Uh, but it just appears to be just probably standard, you know, whatever, uh, standard stuff. Um, otherwise, that would be a really big problem because that means my entire neighborhood is likely infected. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter at that point, right? <laughs> if it is indeed a uh, uh, virus, right? Because... Uh, I was I was uh, I was actually listening last night and this morning to uh, Roosh V's uh, live stream recording. Uh, so he call he calls it the Corona virus. The Corona virus is coming for you. <laughs> so yeah, but um, it was a very good video. I definitely can't talk about because it it's definitely going to get us deep platformed. But I would definitely recommend. Um, let's see, can you guys see this? Yeah. So I definitely recommend. Uh, Roosh V YouTube. Uh, let's see. Game by Roosh V. No, why? Oh, okay. So it looks like, are they censoring him? All right, here we go. See, what's interesting is Roosh has actually unpublished a lot of this stuff, but yet the Google algorithm chooses to rank this above actual Roosh, who actually is, uh, you know, has disavowed his own uh, pickup advice stuff here so uh yeah and he talked a lot about that too uh so it's this one rushar number 40 af pack so uh yeah very good one i can't go into it because again deplatforming risk uh but i definitely recommend you watch that uh i will say that uh when he was doing his tour he was like very tempted by all the hot women obviously and i definitely have seen that uh for sure uh, both from the outside and a little bit on the inside. There was this, uh, when I went to the Night for Freedom with Mike Cernovich, there was this really hot white girl. Uh, but uh, I'll just say that while she was pretty sexually aggressive, uh, she just never called me. So Because uh, I insisted I get her number instead, and I don't know, whatever. But like, uh, nothing ever came of it, right? So, um, so in a way, that's good because we wound up not banging, or at least I wound up not banging. I mean, who knows, maybe she was sleeping with someone else. And uh, there was this girl that I also met at another night for freedom, like a year or so later. Uh, she didn't want to date me, but she was more than happy to dream and want to like, and even tweeted at Roosh, that same girl, because you know I followed. We were following each other on Twitter after we met, uh, and then uh, what you might call it. Uh, it's like, oh, I'm dreaming of Roosh, and then he retweeted that, and then that actually got me angry. Uh, for obvious reasons, right? Of course, back then, I didn't really know about Jesse Lee Peterson's teachings. So, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I'm angry. All right. So I just, like, blocked her. It's like, okay, you, you dumb cunt. <laughs> it's like, all right, you know, you, you're going to be like that, then all right, fine. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely understand. And, of course, she was attractive looking. Uh, they, they always are. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's a kind of interesting how everything turns out, right? It's like, uh, it's like, when, when, when everyone's in a fallen state, men and women, like, everything's like chaos, right? And that's exactly how uh, Satan lo uh, loves it, right? All is chaos, just like Joker. Now, uh, before we start, I did tweet a... Let's see, which one of these is mine? Uh, I did tweet out, because obviously I'm on top of the coronavirus stuff, because now it's actually getting kind of nuts. So, you know, I think, I think they must have already tested everyone in Congress and Donald, uh, in the White House. Because CPAC attendee uh, actually has coronavirus and he shook hands with like, a lot of people, including people who ultimately did touch hands with Trump. So, I'm assuming, like, even if you have latent, like, it's just dormant in your body, like you have coronavirus, but it's not doing anything, right? Because it's dormant or whatever that period's called. I think they could still test, uh, test you for that. The problem is you're not showing any symptoms. So... You know that's why that aren't that's why in america we're not testing everybody because we're so woefully unprepared for this shit. we don't have the money or the resources to test everybody uh roosh thinks that like the cdc and the u.s and you know the evil globalists uh want everybody to get infected to cull the population especially the boomers 
It's possible, but I don't really think so because these boomers, as irritating as they are, uh, Twitter just recently made it basically against terms of service to criticize them. They're laying the groundwork for that by saying you can't you can't say mean things to people based on age group, right? Quote unquote, or whatever the dumb idiot thing said. Um, and uh, what you call it? So I don't really think it's that. Plus, the boomers are still retarded, right? So they're they're supporting all the stuff globalists want. So why would they call them? It's the non-boomers that are giving globalists a hard time. If anything, they want to call us, not the older population, because the older population still is retarded. Think there's a such thing as Judeo Christianity, and that we need to have dual dual loyalty to a certain country that I cannot criticize, that you and I cannot criticize, and um, what you call that we need to shovel billions and billions of dollars in these uh, uncriticizable countries so that they can use uh, civilian airliners over uh, Syria as human, literal human shields and hoping to incite a war by attacking uh, uh, Syria so that when their air defense missiles shoot back into self-defense, they'll wind up shooting down uh, a civilian airplane instead, right? They're actually doing that. It's, it's pure fucking evil. Um, you know, so once we get free speech back, if assuming the great person Nick Fuentes succeeds, uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be able to actually be able to tell the whole truth now. So, uh, and then I'll just, you know, and then you can read this, right? Hundred year old Chinese man recovers from COVID-19 along with 80 others. Uh, this is as of New York, uh, New York Post of basically right now, 14 minutes ago. Well, now it's 20. Coronavirus is beatable after all, even amongst the elderly. He was treated with antivirals, meds, and traditional Chinese medicine or holistic medicine. And of course, I am now scrabbling my Chinese herbal tea right now. That's why I keep looking back. Uh, the light is green, so I am going to turn off the pot. So probably going to try to do my video. Well, actually, I got to let the uh, hot water uh, settle down anyway. But I do have to empty out this cold uh, filtered water so I can start putting in some Chinese herbal tea. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's a, that's actually pretty impressive. Like, this guy is 100 years old. Like, I thought it's basically a guaranteed death sentence, right? Because the older you are, the mortality rate actually starts uh, multiplying exponentially towards 100%, right? Because that's when you're basically guaranteed to die, essentially. It's really bad stuff. Uh, let's see, stockpile meds. This guy says uh, HIV medications can actually fight off coronavirus very well. That's what Thailand has been doing. So I have that retweeted. I got that from Mike Cernage's timeline. Uh, here's Michelle Malkin demanding that this asshole Matt Schlapp, you know, tell us what we need to know. Of course he's not. So, you know, he, he is talking to the Washington Post and liberal journalists, but he refuses to fucking talk to us and Michelle Malkin. Like, what, what's up with that? Uh, and then, um, and then here we have, uh, if you want to, if you went to CPAC, it means went, not want. It's one week for sure. Cause some people are asking Mike, Hey, uh, you know, do you think we're infected? If so what's the incubation, you know, week one, two or three, cause it takes like up to 14 days, sometimes 21 or 28 in rare cases. Uh, what's interesting is when I retweeted this, uh, let's see, I think we could do that. Uh, can we see this? Yes. Our good old buddy pal, Nick Fuentes, actually read, uh, he actually reads his comments, so. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the, the, the next big man, the next big man in the Groiper, uh, actually he is the Groiper leader at this point, right? Um, is, uh, whatchamacallit, he actually read the comments, so that's pretty cool. So, but I mean, I think uh, he probably still wants to be a little careful because hey, he doesn't really know who I am, but he could tell I have probably pretty good credentials. And too, maybe he just wants to make sure he doesn't actually dox me because after all, yeah, Nick Fuentes is a large deplatforming risk. Me just even mentioning him here is probably going to, like, there's going to be a point where I probably can't even mention his name, all right? Once the game takes off and all that shit, and then, you know, the fake, the fake news terrorist piece of shits like Kotaku and rock paper shaka they're all owned by the same uncriticizable uh billionaires ultimately if you do enough i did a little bit of the research and it already it already went straight to the you know globalist top so so it's all bullshit but uh yeah but you know what we're in this for the fight you know we're not backing down and we're gonna do what we can so yeah that's just how it goes all right anyway i really need my chinese herbal tea so let's uh let's get right into it nine minutes 50 seconds hey not bad 
Uh, get rid of the ad. Click this. So uh, Bitcoin searches for this week. Hold on. <clears throat> is finalizing at 11 for last week. So it's not too bad, but not fantastic either. So uh, I don't know if I finished my point, but when Trump, like, because last night I was really concerned, like, okay, so Cong two thirds of Congress could potentially have coronavirus, and Trump himself, along with everybody in the White House, could also have coronavirus. But it would be dormant at this point, right? So if it's dormant, can you still test for it, right? To, and then that's the thing. And then I figure, okay, if you could test for it, then they probably tested everybody, everybody in Congress and everybody in the White House. And Matt Gates is already running around with a actual full gas mask. Like he's not taking, he's not, uh, I mean, he's, he's a big cuck when it comes to the Groper uprising, but at least he's not stupid, like overly stupid, right? He knows what's at stake. He's like, you know what? I don't give a shit, you know? I even was looking at uh, on Amazon for gas masks with the N95 filter. Uh, they're all sold out. They're not going to have any new supply until March 12th to 17th at minimum. So now I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stay. I, I'm already staying home 99% of the time. So it's like, okay, now I just don't care. Because if there's already coronavirus in my neighborhood, it's already too late. It's only going to be a matter of time before I uh, get infected or not. Because I also have to stay indoors somewhere, right? So I have to step out at, at one point, <laughs> right? Because uh, if my because my neighbor is already infected, then it doesn't matter. Because my fil even if I have the mask, my filter is going to eventually run out. Because you need the filter, the P the N95 filter is the actual plastic slash cotton thing that actually keeps the thing out. And at some point, it gets overloaded. That's why you have to replace the filter. Well, guess what? I'm going to run out of those. I suppose I could just keep rebuying them, but you know I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on uh, on uh, on that. And technically, the risk is still technically pretty low, yet it's inevitable. It's like it's like all right, you know what? I'll just stay indoors and then just only go out once a week, maybe twice a week, right? Because because I, uh, I still have plenty of supplies, right? So yeah, but uh, yeah. But anyway, Bitcoin down is at 63.9%. 24-hour is 135 billion. So it's a little higher, but not very much. Uh, basically, everyone's just uh, in full panic mode. Now, fundamentally, the economics of the world are slowing down because everybody's just staying home. So they can't get much work done, uh, if at all. Uh, oh, but that being said, I thought that things could get really bad and, they're, and that like, Trump could be infected. But they already they said he's already healthy and so is everyone else. Um, so I think they probably already tested everybody, right? Congress and the White House. Uh, and we haven't heard anything. So that probably means they are fine. Because if they were not fine, right? And eventually, because if let's say Trump did have coronavirus, right? Someone's definitely going to leak that. And it would cause like, uh, like a crazy amount of overblown uh, panic. And of course, calls for Trump to step down immediately. Because obviously everybody hates Trump, right? And they want him to step down. Uh, we haven't heard anything even remotely suggesting that. So I think they're safe. So at least the most critical people in the world, right, uh, are probably fine. And then, of course, they're uh, uh, match slap the CPAC asshole. You know, he's uh, he's making sure that, you know, everyone uh, is, you know, he's being transparent. So at least he's doing that, right? He's being transparent. Uh, of course, he refuses to talk to Michelle Malkin and tell us who the fucking donor was that also happened to be uh, the second CPAC coronavirus positive. So obviously it must be from someone in the globalist cabal or the country that cannot be criticized or named. At least on my channel, not anymore. So uh, it's very irritating, but you know, all right then. So, uh, so as long as that's fine, then this downturn uh, won't be as bad. But it's still going to get pretty bad. So I might actually recommend, because before I was recommending just dollar cost averaging, but a little bit at a time, right? Buy a little. Uh, I actually am going to personally take, like, I'm still going to buy, but I'm going to wait this out because I want to see how bad this gets. Like, this is, you know, I would actually be surprised Bitcoin and, and subsequently all these other cryptos and really the markets in the world. Like, everything's just going to crash, right? At this point, it's, it's full on panic mode. Like we're definitely gonna see 2008, 2009 recession level uh, uh, crashes because because not only are the fundamentals supporting the idea that we can't do any business, so therefore prices have to come down because 
there's less economic activity, so why would things go up, right? Everyone's staying home. On top of that, people are just pat people are panic buying toilet paper because they're retarded. Uh, it's like I don't I don't understand, <laughs> right? So that's how I know hysteria, like you know your emotions, your your Satan's in full control of this now. So uh, you know, got to ride out the storm. So I'm gonna wait for this shit to drop. If it goes up a little bit, then I actually don't care because you know hopefully it gets better. But it's only March eighth. It's not gonna get warmer just yet. In fact, yesterday was kind of cold. So Bitcoin to 86.57, it's down 5%. Litecoin at 57.16, it's down 9%. Uh, everything else is down quite a bit. Doggy coins at 285.7 million market cap, it's down 6%. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got to make sure I burp. I had a lot of vitamin C tablets. So also, I'm a little afraid to cough in public when I'm out and about because people might just accuse me of having coronavirus and then going freak out mode. Because, like, we have black people here in New York City, like, specifically beating up uh, us Chinese people, you know, right? for, like, coughing or wearing a mask or something. You know? uh, I mean, I, I mean, NYPD is, like, try, is on the, you know, on it, and we're going to try to charge us hate crimes. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck, uh, good luck with that. So you got to be careful. Uh, at least, though, at least on the Twitter replies, a lot of black people did say, like, yeah, that's, that was evil, it was uh, shameful, it was racist. Uh, it's like, you know, like, this is, you know, this brings shame to me as a black man or black woman. They should not be doing that. Uh, I, I would play the video, but uh, I don't want to portray violence, right? You know, st again, stupid, retarded YouTube uh, terms of service. But basically, there was, like, like, a fat, angry black guy that was screaming at this Chinese guy. I think he was wearing a mask. And you know he was taunting him and screaming. I was like, "Stay away from me!" Like he's like, "You, you know, you got the you got the corona shit or whatever." And, and, and then uh, everyone was recording him, right? Of course, that's why social media is you know one of the positives is you know you can record the truth and then show the whole world you know just how evil many people are. And, and then ultimately it ends with the video, just the angry racist. Well, I shouldn't use the word racist. The angry. Uh, judgmental black guy just picking up like an air freshener and just spraying it all over the Chinese guy. It's like <laughs> it's 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 kind of hard not to laugh because it's just the situation is just so bad and retarded. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bad karma is gonna be uh, fall upon uh, that uh, evil judgmental uh, person, and um, yeah, well, and since he's black, he'll probably. Uh, Karma is going to exact uh, vengeance upon him by making uh, people who don't like black people fall their, make their wrath fall upon him. That's how karma usually works. Uh, that's assuming the cops don't get to him first and arrest him right, and basically keep him safe from that. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's getting pretty nutty out here. It's getting a little, it's getting pretty nutty. Most people are still pretty cool with it, but I mean, you never know, right? Everyone looks nice, and then I cough a little bit. Then all of a sudden, they might go, "Oh my God, he has coronavirus." It's a Chinese dude. He's coughing. He's he's definitely got coronavirus. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, jeez, man, like these like these people, you know, these people. Anyway, Steve's at twenty point forty one cents. It's actually pretty pretty damn resilient, surprisingly. It's three negative only negative three point thirty eight percent. So this kind of sucks for me because I don't want to buy more steam, right? Uh, well, I mean, basically everything's going down. So uh, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, that's just how it goes. All right, uh, markets are open. JMC coins at four to five. It was up to five to six uh, last night, so it's doing uh, it's doing really well. You know, obviously lots of buying activity. Um, four or four is at five to six now, up to seven sometimes, but still mostly six. So at least these coins, they, because they're already pretty low in price, uh, uh, these cryptos are going to be pretty stable. Two by two coin uh, has finally taken a small hit. Now it's back down to sixty five to seventy after a pretty impressive. Rally that wow went up to eighty one satoshis of a bitcoin, so that's pretty cool. Um, Cap pound coin still holding kind of steady fifty four thirty one fifty four twenty to eighty eight hundred satoshis of a dog coin. I'm also proud to report that I believe my sell order actually sold. Um, yeah, it actually sold. I actually sold my thing because I figured out what I set the price to. But I set it to like seventy seven. I think I did seven 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 satoshis. And I just left it there. So, yeah, it's actually not here anymore. So, actually, yeah, it, it got sold. 
So that's pretty cool. So compound coin is pretty stable. Uh, there's some news articles I do want to look at real quick. Uh, this one's just a headline, right? SXSW, uh, Bitcoin 2020, which Mitch was going to. Uh, they're, they're all canceled now. And these assholes at SXSW were banning and censoring Trump supporters. Um, that's where I, I learned that from Mike Cernich's timeline. And of course, like now they know what it feels like to be deplatformed and not make any money because a lot of people are going to, and artists, rely on this, especially Austin, right? Well, maybe next time don't be a fucking deplatforming piece of shit, right? Because then karma is going to exact justice upon you, just like this. So, uh, in fact, I was watching like a clip, like there was a live stream on by Riot Games for the League of Legends thing. I don't even think they care about Twitch anymore because nobody uses Twitch to watch the League of Legends stuff. They actually go on YouTube now. There's like 65,000 people on YouTube live stream for League of Legends, but they're all like only 1,400 on Twitch uh, for the exact same content on the same Riot Games channel. So <laughs> Twitch, uh, Twitch really is uh, starting to feel the pain now. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, so uh, yeah, I just saw the massive crowds of people clapping and right next sitting next to each other. I'm just like thinking to myself, I wonder if it's good because no one's panicking about the virus. But here it's like, geez, that's such a health hazard. All it takes is for one guy in that room in the middle of the audience to have coronavirus, and it'll spread to everybody in the audience. It's like, geez, man. <laughs> it's like, geez. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, anyway, uh, my reply to that tweet was, to Mike was, they're in rebellion against God, so no, they will not develop empathy. So they're going to have to basically suffer more before they'll change their mind. Uh, Bitcoin cloud could moon if Jack Dorsey is ousted from Twitter. This is also just another headline. Um, but I was reading on a dissident website. In fact, I didn't actually... Oh, oh yeah, I, I have to pull that up. Yeah, this daylight savings time bullshit is really... Um, what will just get quite the disruption uh but all right hold on let me let me do that um but uh yeah he said that uh the people that are in control of the world and the people who cannot be criticized especially the country now want to kick out jack dorsey from twitter uh there's a big move to do that uh because they want full control of the social media platform so they could start you know kicking us dissidents off uh but i mean the thing is Jack Dorsey is already quite compliant, so kicking him out is just going to be more like a formality. But, you know, let's give him a slight benefit of doubt, because he did say that he grew up in a socially conservative household when he was growing up. So maybe he still has a little shred of decency left in uh, that piece of shit. And uh, whatchamacallit, he, maybe he is kind of resisting something, right? Kind of like how Gaius Baltar in uh, Battlestar Galacta, Galactica had a gun pointed at his head and the silence, you know, said sign the executive order to terminate these people or we will kill you and then he had no choice and then you know he signed it uh and it actually becomes a really big uh uh story point later on in the season so um yeah i, I just hope that uh you know you know i because now because now i have to watch the entire metal gear solids franchise i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna watch the playthroughs on youtube and then i'm also gonna uh, uh yeah and then probably i don't know there's some maybe something else because i have to start actually start also writing the story for my sh uh, show slash game so that my game can be the quests in the game can be much more consistent uh with the story or at least try to make the variants as different as possible because i'm obviously going to be changing and updating things so i want to try at least make sure that the game's not too different from the actual show because the show is what take that's the canon that's what takes priority over everything just like the star wars movies the theatricals that is canon that is the foundation for everything so my show is the same way you know so the game is subordinate to the show so but then the thing is people are going to be playing the game first because obviously i can't make the show yet so you know it, it, the perception and you know i've got the kind of micro micromanage it which shouldn't be too will you stop playing this shit? uh so it, it should uh you know uh should be manageable but anyway yeah they want the the 
as Roosh would call them, the aliens, right? The aliens want to get rid of Jack Dorsey. So, all right, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyway, this is the only article we want to read. Uh, you'll see a central bank crypto before you'll see a Bitcoin ETF, a researcher says on CNBC. Uh, that might be very possible. Uh, it'd be a real problem for you and me because we will have to use Ledger X to short the market. And quite frankly, the, the spread is so extreme that I don't know, man. I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll have to, we'll just cross that bridge when we reach there, right? But first, we have to get past fucking coronavirus. A Bitcoin ETF bust. The SEC last week issued yet another rejection to a prospective. Da, 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 da. Um, let's see. Market kind of struggle. I believe this is the end of the row for the long awaited fund. I don't very hope that it's going to be the last straw. Well, of course, we're going to keep trying. Investor market demand eventually tips the scales in Bitcoin's fair. The SEC will likely reveal the opportunity and could come to a different conclusion. Probably think I'm going to have a different consideration. I don't think it's the last straw, but I don't predict any significant changes in the near future. Yeah, I think I know I did this. Uh, I read the article about it in a previous Bitcoin video, but I think I think the article at that time said this year is a 40 or 60 percent chance, and then next year it's like 60 or 80 percent. Uh, I mean, basically, it's by the time they come out with an ETF, it might be too late to already use it. Um, you'll see a central bank crypto before you see a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, let's see. Well, we don't need. I, I already know what it's going to look like, right? It'll just be. I'll just. It'll just be USA coin. That's all. Uh, then here's just more history that we don't care about. All right. So let's get a. Uh, you know, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm going to title. What's the title of this video? It's all over the place. So, um, hmm. All right. I guess we'll just use this as a thumbnail, and I'll just say "markets tank as coronavirus fears uh, accelerate" or something. Anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So you can stay up to date on, I don't know, my latest uh, brilliance uh, that I get from God or something like that. All right. So I need my Chinese herbal tea. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Um, again, I'm recommending uh, me personally. I mean, it's hard because I just don't want to, like now I don't want to buy anything because I know everything's going to go down. So I might as well wait a couple days, possibly a week or two. Mm, excuse me. Just wait and see what happens with this coronavirus shit. Because again, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, especially New York State and New York City, you know, our cases are starting to skyrocket because we're detecting people. All right, so that's actually a good thing because the sooner we detect shit, uh, unlike the idiots at the CDC, you know, the sooner we can uh, isolate those patients and get them to stop spreading this shit. Uh, steam is remarkably uh, resilient, so. I'm still just going to wait to sell and see just what happens. Like, if Steam crashes to, like, $0.10, cents, yeah, that's probably when I'll buy. But, I mean, if it crashes at $0.10, cents, is Litecoin going to be worth, like, 10 bucks? You know, so it's really going to be about the percentages. But for now, I'm just going to have to keep stockpiling crypto. Uh, I'm going to have to wait. And then, you know, I, I rip because I really want more Steam, you know, because now is the time to basically buy. But right now, I am not buying. Um, well, A, because I already spent. And then, B, my next round of buys, now that I see that everything's just going to hell, uh, I'm just going to be waiting because I don't think the, I think this, yeah, I think people are just start dumping at this point. So, um, all right. So I'm just going to wait for the bottom essentially. So, uh, if you still want to buy, you know, that's actually fine. Just make sure that again, it's dollar cost averaging. You buy a little bit because there's a very high possibility between now and pretty much by the end of this week that these, everything in the world, stock markets, bonds, gold, cryptocurrency, everything's just going to go to straight to hell. So, uh, yeah, lots of luck. Stock up if you can and just stay home. If you can, just stay home, just like me. Uh, and then we have to wait out this stupid coronavirus.